Did you know that hackers can steal from you without even touching your computer? Yep, they will hack you instead. Welcome to social engineering. Let's try and decode it, what it is. So social engineering is just a fancy word for hacking humans, not computers. Instead of guessing your password, hackers trick you into giving it away. Think of social engineers like sneaky magicians. They use psychology, not code, to trick your brain. So how does social engineering work? Well, here's the playbook simplified. Step one is they pretend and manipulate. So they pretend to be someone you trust, like your bank, IT support, or even your boss. Step two, they create panic. They make up a story to stress you out. Something like, urgent, your account's been hacked, or send money now or you will lose your files. And step three is the trick. Under pressure, you hand over your passwords, your credit card numbers, or even sensitive details, exactly what they want. Ever got a random call claiming you owe taxes or texts saying your Netflix account is suspended? Yep, that is social engineering. Their goal? Make you panic, click that link and hand over your information. Why social engineering is so effective? Because they exploit human emotions, fear, curiosity, urgency. It's way easier to hack human emotions than firewalls. They don't need tech skills, just good acting skills. So how do we protect ourselves from social engineering? Here's how not to fall for their tricks. Slow down. If it's urgent, take a deep breath and think first. Verify everything. Call your bank directly if you are unsure whether the call came from a bank. Never give any sensitive information if someone contacts you unexpectedly. So next time you get a suspicious message asking for money or passwords, remember, you're probably the target, not the tech. Drop a comment or a like if you'll think twice before next time. Stay safe out there, guys.